I love me a good meat and cheese spread, and today we're in Greenwich Village to check out the first to-go charcuterie board shop in New York City. Let's check it out. Julie, I've never been anywhere like this before. Tell me about Cured. Yeah, so uh, Cured garners inspiration from my time studying in Madrid, um, where charcuterie is very part of the European culture. And I realized, you know, there's nothing like this in the United States. And so the whole goal of Cured is to really make charcuterie more accessible. And you're so young, so like, how did this all come about? <laughs> Yeah, so I studied at Boston College. I was class of 2020 there. My school had a summer incubator program where you can launch a business idea. And that's where I really understood the opportunity. What would become scalable was a place where people can actually go inside, interact with your brand, taste your product. And that's how you know I, I came up with the idea for the store. Um, and I received funding through the program. So we actually started in Boston in 2021. And now we just opened in New York a couple weeks ago. It's like a dream come true, Jilly. It it really is, yeah. I mean, congratulations on all your success. You gotta show me how the magic happens. Yeah, let's get behind there. Woo! Why don't you go ahead and, you know, we can first grab six slices of the truffle salami. That's definitely a crowd favorite. And then we'll go ahead and grab the Genoa salami. So the cool thing about the Genoa salami is that we actually do it in a rose format. This is my favorite kind of flour to receive, the <laughs> salami flour. Don't get me actual flowers. And then why don't we go ahead and we can grab the spicy soppressata. So those are our meats, and now we will head to our cheeses. All right. The way to think about how to do cheeses is variation in texture. So that's a very good tip for those of you making charcuterie boards at home. So why don't we start with our hard cheese, which in this case will be our triple play Parmesan right here. Another cool thing with the parm is we do a balsamic glaze on top. Ooh. Now we will go to our semi-soft, semi-hard, which in this case will be our aged manchego. And then lastly, we will do our soft cheese, which I'm feeling like the seasonal whipped ricotta would be a good option. This. Yes. It does need a topping, so we've been doing a pomegranate glaze. Ooh. So now we will move down to our sides. We have our spreads, we have our briny items, our fresh items, and then our carb. And so you'll really want to kind of choose a variety between those categories. Yes. This is a lot of side options though, I have to say. Oh wait, this is beautiful. Yeah. How much does this normally run people? Um, so our two to three person box uh, starts at $24.99. So the whole goal is really to get people charcuterie very quickly at an affordable price. Thank you so much, Jilly, for showing us everything, teaching me some new skills for the charcuterie board too. Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, the next board you make, you'll know exactly what to do. I'm just gonna come here. Perfect. <laughs>